July 1914. Two of the world's greatest fleets are assembled on the high seas. Churchill's massive battleships of the Royal Navy and Kaiser Wilhelm's mighty German Imperial Fleet. If war comes, these fleets could decide the outcome in a single afternoon. In fact, Europe is careening out of control. Austria declares war on Serbia. Russia mobilizes. Then Germany. Then France. Britain. The diplomats have failed. And so begins the catastrophe that is to become the First World War. I am Lieutenant Hans Pochhammer, first officer on SMS Gniesenau, an armored cruiser with the best German gunnery crews in the German Navy. Nearby is SMS Scharnhorst, sister ship, prickling with 32 guns and torpedo tubes. On board is Admiral Graf Maximilian von Spee, the legendary commander of the East Asiatic Squadron. My name is John Luce, captain of HMS Glasgow, a light battle cruiser. Sir Christopher Kit Craddock is squadron commander. Before the war, he took tea with Admiral Graf Spey and his two sons, Otto and Heinrich. Such were the niceties of service on the China station. But dark clouds are forming, and with Japan having also declared war on us, our squadron steamed across the Pacific, evading belligerent Allied naval forces. If we can make it home, Graf Spey's big ships could help the home fleet wrest control of the seas and turn the tide of the war. September 1914. The Allies win an immense strategic victory at the Battle of the Marne. November 1st. Our squadron arrives safely off the southern coast of South America, where we encounter a British squadron Churchill has sent to destroy us. And so, the Battle of Coronel. We formed battle lines. Our flagship, HMS Good Hope and HMS Monmouth, newly commissioned with a large number of reservists, who I knew would be no match for the 8.2-inch guns that armed Scharnhorst and Niesenau. Monspey orders battle lines. Prepare for long-distance firing by starboard batteries. A thunderclap rips across the sea. Flashes and shells obliterate our forward gun turret, killing the entire crew. HMS Good Hope burns without firing a shell. Outranged, she is doomed. Our gunners are precise. Salvos find their marks. The scene is appalling. The German broadsides score direct hits one after the other. Good Hope slips beneath the icy waves. Admiral Kit Craddock, his dog Nelson, and 92600 hands perish. HMS Monmouth is outmatched and quickly overwhelmed. Nuremberg delivers the coup de grace. Monmouth sinks with a loss of 734 brave sailors. There are no survivors. The British ships were outclassed in both gunnery and seamanship. The Battle of Coronel was over. This was not supposed to happen to the Royal Navy. The stinging defeat prompted Churchill to dispatch a larger force under Vice Admiral Frederick Sturdy to hunt down and destroy von Spey's flotilla. On the Western Front, the warring nations had dug in for a war of attrition. Sea battle could tip the scales.